Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's New Week of Comics in my hands. It's one of those releases. This is You Are Obsolete, collecting the entire series from Aftershock Comics. Uh, also, it is created and written by Matthew Klickstein. Uh, Evgeny Bornyakov is the artist. Lauren Affey, uh, Pippa Bolin, Francesca Citarelli, Wacho Velez are the colorists. Simon Bolin is the letterer. Um... We actually have a really cool interview with, with Matthew about uh, this series. We're going to have that as the link on this video if you want to check it out. Um, but the the series is really interesting. So it is about this reporter who's uh, brought to this European uh, island where kids have, have taken over. Um, they've developed an app that winds up killing adults um, by the time that they turn 40. So the question is, like, why are they doing this? Um, why are the adults so passive and accepting of this? Um, it's it's really, really, really interesting. And then you kind of have this journalist trying to figure out the truth about uh, the murders and everything that's going on. It's a really jacked up psychological horror, uh, very, I think, 70s vibe to it. But it has a, a technological twist on it, you know, with an app being involved. Um this is a series that really grew on I me mean, the more I read about it and, and more I read of it and more thought about it. Um, and when it's come out, it's come really interesting. I mean, you've got a whole bunch of different things that the series kind of uh, touches upon in um, uh, as a whole. Like, you know, there's not just the, the technology uh, aspect of it and kind of addiction to technology and, and how it connects us or disconnects us. You have, uh, I mean, you can almost call this OK Boomer the comic. Um, not that the parents are even boomers. They would actually really be Gen X since they're like my, actually younger than me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they would be younger than me. Um, and it's it's really this, it's this really interesting comic is that when I did my interview with Matthew, it was right around the time uh, when some idiotic politicians were saying that it would be great to sacrifice older people so that the economy can get going. Um, so, like, you take stuff like that and, and you read the comic, um, and it all kind of comes together of just like, holy crap, this is just very, um, it's very fitting for the time. But even if you don't want to get into, like, the social political stuff like that, like, it's just a creepy comic. Very, like, omen, you know, with the kids and the cornfield and all that stuff. I think that's the omen, right? Um, and, and, and it's just, it's just an unnerving comic, um, and not in a bad way at all. Like, if you are a horror fan, you'll really, really dig it. And, like, I'm not the biggest horror fan, but I enjoyed the comic. Like, it, it touched for me that, like, that itch that I enjoy and really kind of nailed down the type of horror that I enjoy, which is much more psychological than, like, slasher. Um, it's, it's just, it's really hard to describe the series. Uh, I mean, it really just comes down to, it's like this reporter going to this island trying to figure out why these kids are murdering adults. Um, and like, what's the bigger picture? And then of course, you know, you start really thinking about it and it just, it, you start working through your head and like the themes of it and, and how it like relates to the real world and all that. Like it, it gets to you. It's, it's a really good read. If you're into horror comics or the psychological thrillers, like this is totally worth it. Um, the art is, is interesting. Um, and show off some of the art. It's like the story itself. It's it's just kind of unnerving. Um, you know, there's just a lot of things that I enjoyed about this. You know, the part of it also is like you have this media person who's trying to kind of get out the truth, and then you're thinking about how would this look in our world? Like, would someone coming out and being like, no, there's this horrible thing. These kids are all going to kill us. Like, how would the world look at that person? Like, you know, immediately someone's going to be like, fake news. Um, so there's just a lot of stuff that rings in the back of your head while, like, checking out this series. Um, it's, it's good. It's really, really good. Like, if you like a psychological thriller, if you like uh, horror um, not in that slasher sense, but kind of that, like, holy crap, who's going to die next sort of vibe, uh, you'll dig this. It's well worth it. Um, the only, I think, negative about this entire trade and collection is that there's not much extra. We get a couple covers, and that's about it. Um, you know, I just wish there was a little bit more as far as that, maybe, like, a script or something. Not a huge deal, because this is one you're just going to really enjoy uh, the story, and all that stuff is just kind of bonus anyway. So uh, it's out in comic shops now. 
uh, go get it. Support your local comic shop. There's a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It will tell you if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. Uh, they are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. But really, you should go support your comic shop. Uh, speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for opening us up with this review copy. We appreciate it, and thank you for watching. Now, if you're into comics, if you're into Aftershock, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. So until next time, watch out for those kids. And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.